delete drop and truncate statements in sql here we focus upon the nuances and differences between a delete statement in sql a truncate statement in sql and a drop statement in sql let's get started the delete statement the syntax of delete statement is delete from employee so employee here is the name of the table or the table object delete from table name where the condition so delete from employee where emp underscore id is equal to 9876 so emp underscore id here is the column header for the employee id for the delete statement all those rows which will meet the criteria where criteria will be deleted so here in this case the row which will have emp underscore id is equal to 9876 will be deleted all the table records will be deleted if where clause is not used so a caution that where clause should always be utilized in the delete statement row id is not reset there is one internal id which is maintained in oracle which maintains the uniqueness and identification of rows so that is not reset table or the underlying table object remains as it is so the delete statement is only deleting the rows or the underlying table object here in this case the employee table remains as it is in the database now we move on to the truncate statement syntax is truncate table table name so here in this case truncate table if the name of the table is employee truncate table employee all the table rows are deleted if we run this truncate table statement all the rows are deleted where clause is not applicable here in the truncate table statement row id is reset so as if the whole table has been purged and this table is now a vacant table and which is a brand new vacant table as if the table object has just been created in the database underlying table object remains as it is so the underlying table object say for example the employee table here in this case it remains as it is it remains in the schema rollback is not possible so here for the truncate statement the rollback is not available whereas for the delete statement rollback is available now we move on to the drop statement the syntax for the drop statement is drop table table name so here in our case drop table employee the table employee and the underlying object in the schema is deleted so no question of rows no question of data the whole table is dropped from the database or the schema no rollback is possible and just because the object itself is now not available no question of rows or row id so this is the comparison between the delete statement the truncate statement and drop a statement. Thank you. This is your trainer Vijay Shekhar Shukla and I invite you to join our business analyst programs, our product management programs, our programs and domains. Thank you.